Hi friends, today we will be talking about IIT JWE Advanced Level 2023 question related to oxidation number. In this question, they have asked us that we have to count the number of atoms in these compounds where an element is showing zero oxidation state. See, first compound is Br3O8. This is tribromo octa oxide. In this tribromo octa, octa oxide, see the oxidation state of this Br. This is minus 2, this is minus 2, this is minus 2. And because of this Br, this Br will be having 0. So minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, that is 6 plus. So this Br is 6 plus. Like this Br, this Br will also be minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, 0. So 6 plus. Now what about this Br? Because of this Br, this Br will be having 0. Because of this Br, this Br will be having 0. This is minus 2, this is minus 2. So this will be 4 plus. So in this Br3O8, <coughs> that is tribromo oxa oxide, there is no atom which is having 0 oxidation state. So this won't be considered. Now go to oxygen fluoride. It is not fluorine oxide, it is oxygen fluoride. See, this F is minus one, this F is minus one. As we know, F can't be having any oxidation state other than minus one. So obviously, then this O will be two plus. So here also, there is no atom which is having zero oxidation state. Now go to the Next one, H2S4O6. This is tetrathionic acid. This is tetrathionic acid. Here, four sulfur atoms and two hydrogen atoms will be will be like this. So two H atoms are over, S4 are over, two oxygen atoms are over, still four more oxygen atoms are there. So will be attached like this. Now see, as I already told you, because of this, this sulfur will be zero. Because of this, this sulfur will be zero. Now this sulfur, because of this, the sulfur will be zero and because of this, the sulfur will be zero. So these two will be zero oxidation state containing sulfur atoms. What about this sulfur? This is minus two, minus two, minus one, zero. So this will be five plus. Like uh, this sulfur, this will also be minus two, so plus two, minus two, so plus two. This is minus one. Minus 1 because H is 1 plus. Na, so minus 2 and 1 plus will be 1 minus. So 1 minus 2 minus 2 minus total is 5 minus. So this will be 5 plus. So here in this tetrathionic acid H2S4O6, two sulfur atoms are having zero oxidation state. Two sulfur atoms are having zero oxidation state. So this is over. Now go to pentathionic acid. Now what next is pentathionic acid? In this case, five sulfur atoms are there. In this case, five sulfur atoms are there and 2H and 6O. 2H and 6O. So again, it will be like this. So now see here again, this sulfur minus 2, minus 2, minus 1. So 5 plus. This sulfur will also be minus 2, minus 2, minus 1. So 5 plus. What about this sulfur? 0. This sulfur? 0. This sulfur? 0. 
So these three are having zero oxidation state. As I told you earlier, whenever there is SS linkage, whenever there is BR, BR linkage, whenever there is PP linkage, whenever there is any atom except peroxide linkage, in every case, this because of this phosphorus, this will be zero because of this sulfur, this will be zero because of this Br, this Br will be zero. But in this case, peroxide, it will be minus one, minus one. So be very particular there in this. You know, this question so many times they have asked. This time it was in ITJW advance. Now see, this pentathionic, what this was, tetrathionic. Tetra four sulfur na tetra thionic five sulfur penta thionic. What next is carbon suboxide? Carbon suboxide. This is carbon suboxide. You have to be very particular there in oxidation state of every element. C minus two. Here this O is minus two. And because of this carbon, this will be zero. So this will be two plus. This is minus two. So because of this oxygen, this carbon will be two plus. Because of this carbon, it will be zero. And this carbon will be because of this carbon zero, because of this carbon zero. So total is zero. So see here, here three sulfur atoms were there. Here three sulfur atoms were having zero oxidation state. Here, one carbon is having zero oxidation state. So, all together, if you count all these, here two sulfur, here three sulfur, here one carbon. So, total all together, two plus three, five plus one, six. So, six atoms in all these different compounds were there, which were having zero oxidation state. See this oxidation number, charge, and valency, acidity, basicity, or number of electrons lost or gained. What I have said, oxidation number, charge, valency, acidity, basicity, number of electrons lost or gained. This all is N factor, and this N factor is very important concept there in chemistry. Entire your mathematical chemistry, entire of your chemical, sorry, numerical chemistry is based upon this n factor in every part of chemistry whether it is physical chemistry inorganic chemistry everywhere this n factor will be playing very crucial role you know principle of atomic conservation p o a c is nothing is just about the mole concept is just about this n factor and this n factor in mole concept, in solution, in in organic chemistry, everywhere this will be playing very crucial role. Fine. Thank you very much.